the way they defined high risk is different from one study to another. Uh, in the monarchy, they exclusively took uh, lymph node positive patients, uh, whereas uh, the Natalie did allow for node negative patients. Uh, which is a, a big distinction between uh, between the two. Uh, so uh, basically, Natalie contained all the high risk features that the monarchy contained, plus other uh, patients um, based on not negativity or not positivity. So uh, definitely, a broader uh, range of patient can can uh, can qualify for the uh, ribociclib, which was studied in the Natalie, than the abemaciclib that was studied in the monarchy. However. Uh, it's hard to do cross trial analysis, and it's not advisable to do that. Uh, but because there is nothing else to do, and they're not going to compare those drugs as head to head, uh, you can just look at, you know, the the the, the type of patient that were in each study. Uh, the monarchy definitely had more uh, patient that had extensive lymph node involvement, so more patient that had four or more lymph node involvement. Um, whereas the, the the Natalie did have those patients, but not a big proportion of uh, its study population. So for that, some key opinion leader in the field currently are uh, are stating that maybe for the highest risk patient, we'll go with uh, with abemaciclib, and for the patient that are not negative or that are uh, high risk but not as high as the patient who have a lot of lymph involved. Maybe these are more appropriate the ribociclib. To be honest, I don't know if that's how I would cherry pick between both of them. Uh, I'm, I'm yet I'm waiting for the FDA approval uh, to then cross that bridge. Uh, but I, I strongly believe that there is a patient for each of those drugs because even the way those drugs are taken, uh, one drug is taken twice a day continuously, one drug is taken once a day for three weeks with a week off every month. Uh, also, the, the side effect profile of those drugs is different. Uh, so so they're going to be a patient for, for each of those. And the duration, very importantly. Uh, the the ribociclib on Natalie was given for three years, whereas the abemaciclib on Monarchy was given for two years. So, so also the, the, the time duration. So I always like to involve my patient in uh, the decision making. And uh, some patient will want to go with one over the other. Some patient will not have the option. They'll be only have, they qualify for one drug based on uh, uh, the eligibility criteria of the initial study, basically. So, so it'll be more of a discussion with the patient. Patient need to be involved in the decision making. It's, it's their life at the, at the end of the day, and they need to have uh, a big say in it. Uh, 